Let's begin with that developing story from Australia. Several people have been taken hostage in a cafe in the centre of Sydney. They're being held by at least one gunman. The Australian Prime Minister has said that there are indications the incident is politically motivated. Well, hundreds of police are on the streets of Sydney. Police have cordoned off parts of the area near Martin Place, which is home to the Reserve Bank of Australia and close to the New South Wales State Parliament. Pictures on Australian television showed people with their hands up against a window and a black flag with Arabic writing reading, There is no God but Allah. Well, within the past few minutes, we've received some footage of hostages apparently running out of the building. At least three people have been seen leaving the cafe and running towards armed police. Let's get more from Phil, sir, Phil Mercer, who's our correspondent in Sydney. Phil, what more can you tell us? Well, we don't know if these three individuals, we think, think they're three men who have been seen leaving the building near the Link Cafe are in fact hostages. We're just listening to a briefing from the New South Wales Police Force and they will only say that uh, these three people have left the location, so we're not quite sure if they were in fact inside the cafe or were hiding nearby. But that footage clearly shows three people making a, a scrambled exit from uh, a fire exit and a set of glass doors and it does heighten the tension here now given that uh, the customers and the staff being held by what the police think is a lone gunman inside the cafe have been held for several hours now. And Phil, of course, much speculation as to what is behind um, this incident. Is it terrorism? Is it a lone wolf, so to speak? Well, the New South Wales Police Commissioner Andrew Scipioni said that his forces were on a terrorist footing, but he said that there was no indication at the moment to uh, suggest what the motivation of uh, the person or people behind this siege were. In Canberra, the Australian Prime Minister Tony Abbott gave a briefing a few hours ago and he said uh, it, there was an indication there was a political motivation for this, but at the moment we simply don't know why this is happening or who is responsible if it's a lone wolf or just uh, a disgruntled individual uh, trying to make some other point but at the moment the concerns of Australian authorities are the health and the safety of those members of staff and the customers who've been held now for several hours. And Phil, interesting enough in the UK there have been terrorist incidents, I know this isn't being categorised as such yet or, or, um, and still may not be, but the UK, the United States, many parts of Europe have experienced issues like this. How prepared, how uh, ready are Australians to have something like this happen on their turf? Well, certainly the Australian government has been preparing the population for an increased threat from extremism in the past few months. We've seen the domestic terror threat level here raised from medium to high. In September, we saw Australia's biggest ever counter-terrorism raids. And interesting to note that uh, one person picked up in those raids will face trial for allegedly plotting to behead a member of the public in Martin Place, where this cafe siege is ongoing. So uh, perhaps there's no link to that. Uh, there may or may not be, but further investigations will reveal that. But what we've seen in the last few months is Australia and the Australian government really ramping up its efforts to uh, firstly uh, try and defuse homegrown extremism and also bolster the laws to try to stop uh, young Australians joining jihadis overseas in Syria and Iraq. Phil, I know you're going to keep across this, keep following it. Um, we're going to stay with you throughout the day, um, it being in touch. For the moment, we'll say thanks.